Most people think lighting in a blackwater aquarium is as simple as make it dark, warm and moody and everything will be alright. But lighting doesn't just change how your tank looks, it changes how your fish behave, how they communicate and even how their stress hormones respond to the world around them. Today I'm going to show you exactly how blackwater lighting affects fish from cortisol levels to coloration and by the end of this video you will understand why light is more important than you thought. Most fish keepers treat lighting like decor. In planted tanks it's high lighting to aid in plant growth and in blackwater it's low light and soft warm colors. But your fish lighting isn't cosmetic, it's environmental pressure. It shapes their schooling behavior, foraging, territorial displays, color signals, and even their nighttime physiology. This is where things get fun. We see a calmer behavior in blackwater tanks, less stress behavior, tighter schooling, smoother movements, but there's actually hard science behind it. I came across this paper recently called Environmental Coloration and Stress Response in Freshwater Fishes. And they weren't studying blackwater aquariums, but they were studying dim tea stained environments. And what they found was fish in darker tannin colored water had significantly lower cortisol levels. They hid less, they showed more natural foraging behavior, and they formed tighter, calmer schools. Then a later study backed it up called Effects of Subdued Lighting on Behavioral Stress Indicators and tested actual blackwater species. And their findings was warm subdued lighting caused 30 to 40% lower cortisol spikes. They were bright, cool white lighting almost doubled the stress response and reactivity to sudden movement was dramatically reduced. So when you run warmer, softer lighting in a blackwater aquarium, you're not just setting the mood, you are literally recreating the physiological environment these fish evolved to feel safe in. And that safety unlocks every other behavior we're about to talk about. Most people don't realize this, but tannins don't just tint the water, they completely reshape the light spectrum your fish see. Here's the order that colors disappear underwater in tannins. Blue is gone almost instantly, green fades pretty quickly, Yellow often gets softened and red and oranges travel the deepest. The result, a natural environment with a Kelvin equivalent of 2,500 to 4,000 K. It's warm, amber, and soft. Exactly what LED manufacturers try and simulate, except nature does it perfectly. And that's why your lighting shouldn't fight against the tint your tank is producing it should work with it. All right, instead of just talking theory, let's do something actually useful. So I'm gonna test a few different LED lights directly on the episode three Blackwater Aquarium that I did. So you can see side by side what kind of light actually works best in a Blackwater environment. And there'll be no fancy settings or color grading. This is exactly how each light looks on the tank. And just a quick reminder, this is the same tank that we built uh, in episode three. So it's the same tannin, same botanicals, same hardscape. So you'll get a, an exact idea of how these lights behave in a real blackwater aquarium and not a crystal clear water one. Okay, so the first light we're using is a little LED light from All Pond Solutions. It's on the left hand side, normally you'd have it on the middle, but uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what you'd get if you used a smaller light. You would get lots of dark patches and small patches of bright light. Next light is a little LED strip uh, from Nycru. It's the classic LED. I've had this one for about five or six years now and it's done me really well. But you can see I've placed it right dead in the middle there and the spread for this kind of aquarium, it does pretty good and spreads the light quite nicely. Okay, the next one is a bit of a laugh, but this is a salt water light, but you can see the blue tones that come out, how an LED spotlight projects the light around the tank. This obviously has lots of blues, but uh, you can sort of see the difference in spread with the light here. And the last one is an LED spotlight by a company called Hyger. It's uh, really, really bright this one, but it looks amazing. And it's got some deep red tones there, so it really pushes out the colors of the botanicals nicely. In my experience, I've gone for a variety of different lights on my aquariums, from small cheap LED lights to full spectrum and spotlights. And I must admit, most of the time I've gone for lights that I can either afford or have spare. But I've definitely noticed changes in fish behavior when there are darker spots to the aquarium for the fish to feel safer and less stressed. All right, here's something that most fish keepers never think about. And it's a big part of nature. It's lightning. Blackwater habitats are some of the most storm heavy environments on earth. 
Places like the Amazon rainforest in South America have frequent storms within the tropical temperatures, and those sudden bursts of light and that rapid flash-dark flash cycle have a measurable effect on fish behavior. I actually covered this years ago, but since we're talking lighting today, it is worth revisiting. When lightning hits, fish don't panic, they pause, and it's a freeze response and a natural instinct to reduce visibility to predators during light changes. And here's the interesting part. In aquariums, controlled storm lightning can trigger this same short freeze, followed by a burst of natural exploration behavior when the light settles again. Fish become more alert, more aware of each other, and more engaged with their environment. It's the closest thing to pressing a reset button on their behavior. I do think this is often misunderstood within fish keeping as people assume that this is frightening the fish and often just a gimmick on cheap lights. But in the wild, storm bring change, cooler air, falling leaves, fresh nutrients, and that moment of lightning, it's a signal, a message that the environment is shifting. Essentially, replicating those elements at home is just what they would experience within the wild. But it is also important to remember Aquariums aren't the wild, and the conditions at home differ. Often, light is more focused on a fish tank, so these features are best used sparingly, but they could be used as part of your weekly lightning routine. So now you know how lighting shapes behavior, hormones, and daily rhythms. But there's one piece of the natural environment we haven't talked about yet, and it's a force that changes everything from how fish swim to how they breathe, and how their entire habitat forms. Flow. 